I don't think this avocado was as ripe as it should have been. I'm a little nervous that I'm gonna do it wrong. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Hi everyone, my name is Zoe Raymond and today I'm going to show you guys a super easy DIY hair mask idea that I found. As you can kind of see, I have super curly hair and it's in a ponytail because it's a mess if I leave it down and I need to wash it anyway. So this is the perfect day to film this video. We're putting the mask onto wet hair. Some masks you put on dry hair, some you wash your hair first and then put on a mask. I'm gonna wash my hair with shampoo and conditioner you don't always have to use conditioner, but I do because I like the extra moisture that it gives me. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Blendja, and hop over to my channel after you watch this video and subscribe to mine as well. And comment down below any ideas that you would like to see me do over on this channel or mine, either one. I'll take any ideas. I'm going to show you guys how I am going to make this hair mask recipe. The six ingredients are half of an avocado, so I'll need to cut this. A fourth cup of mayo, one tablespoon of coconut oil, one tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of honey, and water. So for this recipe, I of course will be using my Blendjet. I have the one in light pink. It's actually still a little bit wet inside because I just cleaned it because I used it earlier this morning for a smoothie. So we are gonna get started. this avocado was as ripe as it should have been. Okay, we have all of our, our all our, oh my god. <laughs> we have all of our ingredients in our blend jet. I will show you guys what it looks like. Sorry, my workstation is a little bit messy. You gotta do what you gotta do. I'm a little nervous that I'm gonna do it wrong. Let's get stuff out of the way. Also, my two arrows are aligned at the back. It also, I really like how it has like the different measurements right on it. So you don't really have to worry about that. Okay. I like, I tried to film it and you probably could tell in the video. I like, it scared me when it actually started, but it blended. I have my mask, so I'm going to open it and show you guys what it looks like inside. Ooh, this is what the mask looks like. It's like a pretty good consistency, I think. Now we need to put it in my hair. Okay, I have just created my little hair mask concoction. I'm about to go wash my hair though and wanted to show you guys. <laughs> so right now, this is my hair. It's not as bad as it normally is because it hasn't been like too long since I last washed it, but it's definitely getting very frizzy. The curls are like all stretched out. It just, oh my gosh. <laughs> Honestly, normally I don't even really wash it now. Like on a day like today, I would just keep it like this and go a day or two more without washing it. But I've noticed that when I wait too long, it just gets way too tangled. And so I think now is a good time to wash it. I'll turn on the camera again when I get out of the shower and I go to apply this so that you can see how I do it. So I got out of the shower and was getting ready to put the mask in my hair. I decided to take a little whiff of it. Did not smell very good. <laughs> I didn't want to stick my hand down in the blender because of the blades, so I just poured it all into a little container and then started to apply it. It honestly felt really gross. I think it was just grainy because of like the mayonnaise or something, but it's all part of the process, so it's okay. Then I went ahead and tied up my hair with a little hair tie and put on a little plastic shower cap to keep everything intact and trap as much heat as I could. Yeah. 
Okay, I just rinsed out the hair mask and styled my hair like I normally style it. If you are curious about how I style my hair or what a typical wash day looks like for me, I do have a couple videos like that over on my channel that you can check out. But first impressions of the mask, I thoroughly enjoyed it actually. The only thing was the smell, but I, I mean, I didn't expect it to smell good because it is made and like avocado. <laughs> when I was styling my hair though, I could tell, and I can even tell now, that my hair feels really moisturized and like soft, even though it's still wet. Like I can just feel my hair is like sucking up all the moisture. Consistency of the mask was really good because of the blend jet and the way that it blended it all up. The next time I do this, I'm gonna try to do the pulse mode because it came out a little more liquidy than I personally wanted, but I think as long as I just just do the pulse mode on the next one, I should be fine. But the consistency using the actual blend mode was still good. I think that it actually helped to like spread it and soak into my hair a little bit more. So yeah, I'm gonna wait for my hair to dry. It's gonna take all day. So I will update you guys tomorrow and show you the final results. All right, it is the next day. My hair has finally completely dried. And this is what it looks like. I'll give you, should I give you a little twirl, I guess? <laughs> It's like so moisturized that I'm not even like used to it. <laughs> this technically is my second day hair because I washed it yesterday. And normally I wake up and it's like, it looks good, but it's like fluffy and that's nice. But normally fluffy hair dries out a lot faster. And this is like, ah, oh, it just feels so hydrated. <laughs> it, I, are you I'm speechless right now. I just can't even believe how good it looks. Like every curl is so moisturized. I need to use that more often. And it's funny because normally I'm not really a DIY hair mask kind of person. I normally just like buy deep conditioners and hair masks and stuff, but I really wanted to try this out, especially since I got the blend jet and I was like, okay, like what can I do with this? And I am very pleasantly surprised. I mean, this looks, this looks really good, like if you ask me. But yeah, you guys should definitely try out the recipe. Get yourself a blend jet too. You can use the pulse mode and see how that works for you. I'm definitely gonna try that with the next time I use it, but honestly, the way that this turned out, I like don't even wanna change anything about what I did. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like it, subscribe to Blend Jet and subscribe to my channel as well. Don't forget to please comment and let me know any ideas that you would like to see me do, any recipes, anything. I will, I will take it all. And with that, that is going to be it for this video. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. A fourth cup. Mm, sorry, what? Um, um, my feet are sweating.